Hey guys, Daryl here with the Tactical Existence. And as you can see by the table, we are doing the UTOS UTS-15 tabletop review. If you've watched the previous you know, videos on the channel here lately, uh, you'll see the first look of this. And I kind of talk about aesthetics. I think the gun is really cool looking as far as aesthetics is concerned. Very futuristic looking, something you'd see kind of out of Halo 4. Really like the way this uh, firearm looks. And so far, you know, most people I've talked to really like the looks of it as well. Some people just don't like it and that's okay. I mean, not everybody likes the same things, right? So as far as looks are concerned, I think it's really cool looking firearm. And uh, you guys did watch the install of the light and laser um, that goes in the forehand grip. I did install that. You can see the switch for it right here. Um, that was a pretty cool video. I really enjoyed doing that and uh, got some pretty positive feedback from it as well. So let's first talk about the most important thing as far as firearms are concerned, at least um, for my liking, and that's reliability and function. And that's where in lies the problem. And I'll roll in some video cuts here on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. I shot probably 500 rounds or so through the shotgun. I think that's pretty fair testing. It's plenty enough rounds to break the gun in. And uh, I've cleaned it, I've oiled it properly. I've done all the things that I can do to let this gun perform well. And it just didn't. And consistently, uh, I'm seeing between five and probably seven to eight percent of um, failure to feeds and failure to fire. So malfunctions in the gun. And that's just far too high for me to use this gun for home defense or defense of my family. It's just, it's, it's not reliable enough for my taste. Now, some people that may not be important to them, if you're just keeping this gun in the safe and you're going out and showing your buddies and shooting that, that's fantastic. And if you like that, then great. This may be a gun for you. If you just, some guys are just into the cool factor of guns in by all means, this is one of those guns. This is a very cool weapon. But for me, I'm more into functionality and reliability. So this is a gun that won't be staying in, you know, the tactical existence vault, so to speak. Um, this will be finding a new home. Now, if you have this firearm and it functions great for you and you've had no reliability issues or anything like that, that's great, you know. Yeah, don't be mad at me because I have to judge this gun on how this one performed and how I've seen others perform. And it's just not been good. I have heard some people that, you know, said mine functions fantastic, no issues, and that's great. And, you know, I wish this one did, but unfortunately, I have to go on what I'm seeing from the gun that, you know, I have at hand. And like I said, it's 5 to 8% of you know, failure to feed and uh, failure to eject. So that being said, I, I can't really give this a positive um, review because of just that issue alone. This is the but that is not the only issue that I take with this gun. And jam out of it's kind of the same with the KSG, although um, I'm going to get into the KSG and do a full review of that uh, later on as well. So stay tuned on the channel for that. But um, to me, uh, the later KSGs, which this is a you know, later uh, model, but the later KSGs seem to function. I've shot three different ones and they all functioned very well and they were all three, um, you know, a newer generation of the KSG. So with that being said, let's go get into the second issue that I have with the uh, UTS-15. And that's gonna be, there's just too much to do with this gun. And you may ask, what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is, there's too many gadgets, levers, levers, and buttons on this gun for me to enjoy really shooting it. And I know that sounds silly, but I'm gonna, you know, kind of show you my thoughts on that and what I mean. And you can, you know, decide for yourself. May not be an issue for some of you guys, but it really is for me. And first thing, let me go ahead and zoom in so I can show, you know, the actual 
uh, parts of the gun that I'm speaking of. And the first thing is going to be uh, loading of the firearm. And you can see that right here. I'm actually going to flip this over because I think you'll be able to see uh, this tube just a little better. So right here is what we're talking about. And I'm going to actually um, kind of come in just a little closer on this just so you can have a really um, good idea of what I'm talking about. Just a little bit more. Okay, that should be good. So to load the firearm, um, first you have a door on each side. This has a left and right tube, which many of you may know. I'm not going to go into the full you know, design of the weapon. Um, it's been done to death, but I'm going to tell you why it kind of irks me. So like I said, a right and left tube. To uh, load each tube, you have a door. You open the door and you're presented with the tube spring or a follower, so to speak, which, you know, you load this way. First things first, you have to move this out of the way and lock it out. So you have this locked out and you can see right here, this is a round indicator letting you know how many rounds you got. When I push this down, you'll see that moves. And then you have, you know, numbers right here. So I, I do like that feature. You can actually see how many rounds you have left in each tube, which, you know, tells you how many rounds you have left in the gun. That's, that's fine, great, and fantastic, and I love that. But I don't like, you know, you have to open two separate doors, push two springs through, and then start loading one at a time, bam, bam, bam. Which, the one at a time thing is, that's, you know, just how it works. But now when you shut this door, you'll hear it releases the spring, pushing the rounds towards the chamber. So, bam, that's done. Now you're going to flip it over and you're going to come to the, uh, sorry for the shakiness there, but you're going to come to the uh, right side tube of the uh, gun. Same thing, load, 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 uh, shut it, and it's gonna, you're going to hear that it does the same thing. Okay, there it is. So now that's loading the weapon. The last round actually um, is placed into the chamber, which brings us to uh, the second portion of this. As you can see, right here is the chamber, and it has like an AR-style dust cover, which is here. So that's one more thing to deal with, open and close, blah, blah, blah. And this thing's very loud and annoying. Anytime you move the gun when it's open, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's just, it just irks me. I'm sorry, but it does. So here's another. This is magnetic. As soon as you rack the gun or um, release the uh, chamber uh, or release the bolt to rack it, this is going to fly open. So just one more thing on the gun that you just, there's too much. You'll see what I mean. The next thing we're going to go to is the bolt or uh, the bolt release to rack the gun, which is right here. So you have another button, bam, hit that dust cover flies open. You can rack the gun. <laughs> Let me go ahead and zoom back out so you can actually see a little more of what's happening. But you know, that's how you rack the gun. Um, zoom out just a little bit more. So you hit that and then you can rack the gun to load your rounds into the chamber or whatever. All right, so on to the next lever and lever <laughs> for this gun. And of course, here on the top, this is the selector to select between your left and right tubes. You can lock one tube out and just, if you have slugs in one, and uh, maybe birdshot in the other, you can actually cut whichever one off that you want to fire. So that's pretty neat, um, but it's just one more thing to play with. I mean, one more lever and lever. And of course, like all guns, much needed and every gun has is your safety. This is more of an AR style safety, which I like, and I do like the uh, AR style grip of the gun as well. And then, of course, you have this top cover, which is right here. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit more so I can, you know, show you this adequately. Um, if you're to have a malfunction, which I use this feature quite a bit because, like I said, I had many of a malfunction. You grab this top cover and you open it up. You can get in here and uh, clear out your malfunctions. So yet another thing to mess with with this gun. And I've had issues with this actually popping up on uh, while firing. Uh, this would just pop open. So uh, you know that's not that's not what I want on my thousand dollar shotgun, guys. That's it's, it's the bottom line. So yet another thing to mess with and play with on this gun. So 
And then if you install the light laser, of course, bam, bam, you have the switch here to turn the light and laser off. So another gadget. <laughs> Normally I like uh, gadgets and stuff, guys, but this is just, it's just too much for me. It's more than I want to deal with in the gun. So let me kind of give the final thoughts because I'm going to kind of end this. I don't want to go on forever. I don't want to beat a dead horse. Um, I can't recommend this gun um, in conscience because of what I've seen from this one. And of course I did put the tactical choke and the light and laser on here. Uh, like I said, I liked it. I liked the looks of it. I liked to kind of play with it at first. I, you know, of course, dry and on safe and all that goodness. But uh, yeah, I kind of liked playing with the little gadgets and gizmos when I was in my house when I first got it and was playing with it, racking it, open it up, you know, just playing with it in general and kind of getting a feel for it. But what I found is when I got out on the range with the gun, it was just, there was always something that I had to flip or touch or move to in order to operate the gun. And it was just, it didn't do it for me. I'm sorry, but it didn't. And like I said, I let lots of other people shoot this gun as well. And the same thing. They just you know, too many failures, too many failures to feed, failures to fire, uh, the top cover popping up during uh, fire when it's not being touched. And uh, I just can't in conscience, like I said, give this a very good, you know, give this a good rating just because of what I've seen. It's This is going to run you around $1,000. You put a light and laser on there, you're looking at, you know, twelve, thirteen, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500 by the time everything's said and done. You put you some flip up sights on the thing. Um, another hundred bucks you put an optic on it I mean it, it's just expensive and for the money I don't mind paying for quality I really don't um, you know I like quality firearms I like unique stuff you know but when I spend a grand I want it to perform I want to get the performance that a thousand dollars should buy you and unfortunately in my experience you're not going to get it out of this and like I said, if you have one, it functions flawlessly. Thanks. Let me know in the comments. If you do have a, U, uh, a UTS-15, if you know someone that does and it functions good, I want to I wanna know. I want to hear it. Um, if you've had experience with them and it was similar to mine, let me know. I mean, give us some feedback. But um, really, guys, if, if I had to choose right now, I would go with KSG. If you're wanting something in the bullpup platform, I would go with the KSG. There is another gun out on the market, or it's actually a stock kit, and I wanna, I wanna mention it real quick before I end this video. Um, I had an opportunity to go and kinda play with their uh, their kit, and the name of the company is Bullpup Unlimited. And they make an 870 kit, and they are releasing a Mossberg 500 kit as well, and it's a Bullpup stock for your gun or for your Remington or your Mossberg 500. And I shot that at the bull pump shoot. And uh, you can actually see it if you watch my uh, overview of the bull pump shoot 2013. Go check that out on my channel. You can see that gun in there when we're shooting this in the KSG. Uh, there's some video of me shooting it as well. But it's a really nice uh, platform. And I'm going to be doing a full review on the channel of uh, Bull Pump Unlimited's stock. So stay tuned on the channel for that if you're looking for a... Uh, bullpup shotgun the beauty of that uh bullpup unlimited stock is it's built around a proven firearm a remington 870 or a mossberg 500 those guns have been around forever they're proven reliable they work so not to get into a whole different video with that but basically guys if i had to give this rating out of one out of ten in unfortunately for you know aesthetics i would give this thing like a, a nine I think it's awesome looking. I think it's really cool looking. But as far as reliability and functionality, I think I would give this a three. Um, maybe a two. It's just, it was way um, too unreliable for me. So I'm guessing maybe two to three, two and a half. <laughs> I, I can't give it anything above that, and I'm sorry for that. But as far as cost, if it functioned, uh, you know, I'd probably give it like a seven. But uh, right now, with the cost uh, factored in with the reliability issue, 
this would probably be like a, uh, a three. So that's my thoughts on it, guys. That is the UTOS UTS-15. It was a blast to test and a blast to review. I had a good time. I hope you guys had a good time um, with this video. And I hope that I gave you some pertinent information to help make a decision for you. You know, uh, my buddy Hank Strange, uh, go check out his channel if you haven't already. Uh, he summed it up in a video we did uh together at the bullpup shoot we go out and buy these things and test them so you don't have to so you don't have to go out and spend a thousand dollars to find out that this gun was unreliable so that's it guys and stay tuned for more great videos on the channel we really do appreciate the subs and subscribes and likes and shares guys please uh just stick to it and help us grow um we may be doing a giveaway here in the future soon so stay tuned on the channel for that like always guys don't forget tactical is not just a word it's a mindset and it's a lifestyle thanks for watching everybody